CompTIA ITF Plus, FC 0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 36 through 40. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 36. Which of the following protocols is responsible for allocating IP addresses to network devices? The answer is B. DHCP. DHCP, which stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is the protocol responsible for dynamically assigning IP addresses to network devices. When a device connects to a network, DHCP automatically provides it with an IP address, allowing the device to communicate with other devices on the network. This dynamic allocation ensures efficient use of available IP addresses and simplifies network management. Question 37. Which of the following internal computing components is most prone to overheating? The answer is B. GPU. The GPU, or graphics processing unit, is often susceptible to overheating because it handles complex graphical computations, especially during tasks like gaming, video rendering, or running graphic-intensive applications. These operations can cause the GPU to generate a significant amount of heat. If not adequately cooled or if subjected to prolonged high-intensity tasks, the GPU can overheat, making it crucial to have effective cooling solutions in place. Question 38. A home user installs a new computer and observes that the reported disk space is only 80% of the advertised amount. What is the most probable reason for this discrepancy? The answer is C. There is a hidden disk partition. A hidden disk partition is a section of the hard drive that is not readily visible or accessible to the average user under standard settings. Manufacturers often create these partitions to store system recovery tools, backup data, or the operating system itself. When a user checks the available disk space, this hidden partition isn't included in the visible storage, leading to the observed discrepancy between the advertised disk space and the reported amount. Question 39. Which of the following best represents the idea of a written policy? The answer is A. A document that outlines the acceptable use of company resources. A document that outlines the acceptable use of company resources is a prime example of a written policy because it provides clear guidelines and expectations for behavior within an organization. Written policies are formalized statements that dictate specific procedures or rules to be followed. In this case, the document sets the standards for how company resources, such as computers, software, or internet access, should be used by employees, ensuring consistent understanding and adherence across the organization. Question 40. A user attempts to update the driver for a sound card on a computer, but the update is unsuccessful, resulting in the sound card no longer functioning. Which of the following actions should be performed by the user next? The answer is A. Roll back the driver. Rolling back the driver means reverting to the previous version of the driver that was known to work correctly. In the scenario described, since the sound card stopped functioning after the driver update, it's likely that the new driver is incompatible or faulty. Rolling back to the previous driver version can restore the sound card's functionality, making it the logical next step for the user to resolve the issue. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.